got a son right now serving with the 101st Airborne at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Thank you. Thank you for applauding that. Not every audience uh, uh, applauds that. I've, I've had people come to me after shows and say, how did that happen? Started when he was 16. My wife goes, I've had it. Had it. Those are her two words. Kids would call me up when I was on the road. Mom said she's had it. What does that mean? <laughs> Run, that's what that means. <laughs> she's a lunatic. Run. <laughs> had it. Called her, had it. I said, about what? She goes, that boy. I went, because it wasn't me. <laughs> I said, what about him? She says, I'm tired of trying to shove an education down that boy's throat. Sick and tired of it. He won't get study. He won't do grades in school. He has to take summer school classes. I'm fed up. I don't know what he's going to do when he graduates. He's not going to live here the rest of his life. And I said to my wife, what kind of student were you? She goes, I was awful. I said, well, Lord knows I was awful. <laughs> what makes you think you and I together would breed a good student, baby? <laughs> if there's anything to DNA, this boy's right on track. Have you heard him tell a joke? His timing's impeccable. <laughs> I says, what do you want me to do? She says, find out what he's going to do when he gets out of high school. I'm fed up. I can't even look at him. I'm so angry. I said, all right, I'll talk to the lad. Call him upstairs. I sit him down at the kitchen table. I said, I'm going to tell you up front, son. Tell you right up front. This is a father-son discussion. Father-son discussion. Your mother wants to know what you're going to do when you get out of high school. <laughs> he says, I don't know. I go, well, that's a problem. We got to come up with something. I got golf balls to hit, man. <laughs> and this ain't going away soon. So. And, and he says, yeah, tell her I'm going to join the Army. I said, great. So I go in and I tell his mother, he's going to join the Army. Now my wife looks at me and goes, what's he going to do when he gets in the Army? When does it end? <laughs> I had a wedge in my hand, man. Walk back out, I go, my mom wants to know, what are you gonna do when you get in the army? I'm gonna drive a tank. I said, cool. Go back and tell his mother, gonna drive a tank. She doesn't say nothing. Walks by both of us into the basement. Comes up five minutes later, 40 pounds of newspapers. So what is that? She goes, I want you and that tank driving boy of yours to go through those classified ads and show me one job for a tank driver. <laughs> Go to the army to learn a skill so when you get out, you can feed a family. Don't go in there to drive a tank. I said, he's 16. He wants to blow things up. I'm 50. I want to blow things up. <laughs> I said, he'll find his way. Sure enough, he graduates. Now, eight months later, he, he not only didn't join the army, he's not, he's not doing nothing. His favorite hobby is fighting with my wife. They're fighting every day. I'm getting five, six messages on my cell phone. You know, three from her, two from him, you know, and it's just driving me insane. I come home one day, stood in my living room, and said, I've had it! <laughs> Get up here. Sit down. This is not a father-son discussion. This is a man-to-man -man discussion. He says, what's the difference? You'll know in five seconds, boy. <laughs> you can't live here anymore. What? <laughs> you can come for breakfast, lunch, and dinner because I dig your company, but you can't live here. Why not? Because you can't get along with my wife. I love the look. That would be your mother. What am I going to do? I go, I don't know. I said, uh, what are you working? Flying Jay? What are you pulling down? 65 bucks a week? Get your own place. Hard to say that one with a straight face. Or you can join the military like you said a year and a half ago. That was what the plan was. I don't care what you do, but you can't live here because I can't take it anymore. I'm going to let some strange man move in my house and disrupt it. I'm not going to let you just because your DNA is, is mine. Don't mean nothing to me. <laughs> Comes up about a week later. He goes, I'm going to join the Army. I said, that's a wise decision, young man. Told you that to tell you this. He went into basic training. <laughs> no idea what goes on in basic training. I never was in the military because I'm a wimp. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. If I was in the army, I'd tell every general, do not tell me anything you don't want the other side to know.
Because I'll tell, I will, man. They just threatened me. We're going to rip out your fingernails. I believe you. What do you need to know? You got golf courses in this country? I have no idea what goes on in basic training. All I know is we got a letter from him. Started out, Mom, Dad, I am so sorry. Please, Mom, forgive me for all the trouble I caused you. Dad, send me a Bible. I can't do this without God. You're killing me in here. Dad, I can't take it anymore. My wife started crying. And I'm sitting there going, well, maybe we can call the Army. Tell him he's learned his lesson. He can come home now. It's... Three pages of the most repentant letter I've ever read in my life. He was fessing up the things that he did when he lived with us I didn't even want to know about. Dad, I started smoking when I was one year old. You know, Shut up, you got away with it. Last paragraph, third page, starts out, well, Dad, I finished my first day. <laughs> One day. My wife said it started when he got off the bus and some guy went, there'll be no TV or video games for eight weeks. <gasps> oh! <laughs> this is inhumane. <laughs> Mom, Dad, I'm so sorry, please. <laughs> Send me a Bible. We picked him up at Fort Knox eight weeks later after basic training. I couldn't tell you how proud I was of that boy. I'm not kidding. I was amazed at the transformation. And then we take him back home. We live here in Nashville. And we took him back home, and I said, give us one night. I, give us one night. That's all. Well, let us take you out. We'll show you off in your uniform. We're so proud of you. And, and, and let us treat you like royalty. Let us treat you to a feast. You tell us where you want to eat, and we'll take you. My boy looked at me and said, I'd like to eat it out back, sir. <laughs> Right! <laughs> I already got him to do in eight weeks what I couldn't get him to do in 19 years. <laughs> Look me in the eye and speak an entire sentence without an um and a uh and a... 